As mayor, how would you help develop the self-care district of Sheboygan? I think that our challenge is to reaffirm our community values and act accordingly, which means aligning the budget to what the community wants and the community needs. My mom used to say, honey, that means put your money where your mouth is. We need to stop, look, and listen to who we are. If we don't like what we see in here, let's change it. If we like parts of what we see in here, let's keep only those. Let each of us do something about our community values. So, if we don't like the look of our neighborhoods, let's organize to fix the broken windows, get the trash in the trash can, mend the sagging roof, and help each other do that. If you're an employee, ask your employer to explain what they're faced with in an ever-increasing competitive world economy. If you ask, they might just answer you. If we think our streets could be safer, let's work with neighborhood policing initiatives. Let's have block parties so that we know who our neighbors are in person. We have a city plan. What would happen if we organized committees under the umbrella of those five major goals and then put that plan forward? What would happen if we asked all of the wonderful groups, clubs, and organizations in this town to align some of their goals to help us accomplish our goals? My vision, I see a great mass of people rising up on our beachfront to shout, we are Sheboygan. Here we are. Come see us. We're this dynamic little community sitting on the shores of one of the natural wonders of the world. We like it here. We're hard workers. We will help you, whoever you are, wherever you are. We will help you be successful. <coughs> Bricks and mortar can't do that. Governments don't do that. Streets don't do that. Proud people can do it.